In the 10th question, it is given in figure 13.12, you see the frame of a lampshade is to be covered with a decorative cloth. The frame has base diameter of 20 centimeters, height of 30 centimeters and a margin of 2.5 centimeter is to be given for folding it over the top and bottom on the frame. Find out how much cloth is required for covering the lampshade. So, this is the lampshade and it is to be covered with a decorative cloth and that cloth uh, needed to be folded on the top side and on the bottom side and 2.5 centimeter of margin is required for the that on the top as well as on the bottom. So, I will show you just, uh, so you can see that this is the uh, 2.5 extra on the bottom, this is 2.5 extra on the top, that is the margins, 30 centimeter was the height of the lampshade, so the total height of the uh, cloth will be 2.5 plus 2.5, that is 5 and plus 30, so 35 and diameter is 20 centimeters. So, uh, let us write this, diameter is given 20 centimeters, it means radius will be 20 by 2 which is equal to 10 centimeters. Next, they have given that height will be, okay, 30 they have given, 30 is the height of the lampshade frame and then for margins 2.5 extra on the top plus 2.5 extra on the bottom. So, this the height of the cloth required comes out to be 35 centimeters. Now, we have to find area of the cloth required as area will be on the just the curved surface part. So, area of the cloth will be nothing but the curved, curved surface area. So, we know that the formula of curved surface area is 2 into pi into r into h. So, 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 10 into height is 35 and square centimeters. This comes out to be 2200 square centimeters. It means 2200 square centimeters is the area of the cloth required. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.